Hey everyone, Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I want to say hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you guys are able to join me here today. This is my first video of 2021, you guys. I took a little bit of time off, um, much needed <laughs> time. Um, yeah, it was like the whole year caught up with me towards the end of December so I had to rest and recharge myself you guys and you know it's not always easy to do but here I am <laughs> so this reading is going to be the reflection on the year 2021 you guys were going to go through all 12 months to get a key theme for each month and then the yearly outcome as well now this reading is for the general collective you guys it is for every single one of us so um yes <laughs> um you know i you guys, if something doesn't resonate, that's perfectly okay. If it doesn't apply, just go on ahead and let her fly. And this is an intuitive reading, you know, as well. And my style is that I also try to teach because that is how I learn, you guys, is, is by teaching. And hopefully I'm not too rusty here. So if you guys are ready, we can dive on in here. Now, please keep in mind, this is for every single one of us and this whole reading flows together. All right, January. Hey, hey, we have the devil coming in here. And you know, January starts out in the sign of Capricorn, the first half, and then transitions over into Aquarius for the second half. But this is the energy of Capricorn here, whether we're male or female, and we start the month of January in the sign. So, you know, this is representing in each of us, you know, the devils that we have created for ourselves, you know, whether it's addictions, bad habits, obsessions, or unhealthy decisions that we choose to cling on to long after it's clear that they are toxic and leading us down the wrong path path you know so this is the month we must work on facing our own demons our own devils you guys and you know shadow work is also what i'm hearing here from spirit as well so yes all right the month of february we have the king of swords coming in so February we start in Aquarius and we transition into Pisces. So the King of Swords is bringing with him some Aquarius energy as well as Gemini and Libra. So, you know, very air energy. And, you know, we do start out the month of February in Aquarius season. So, you know, sometimes wisdom requires a cool head and the voice of experience. So, you know, we may tend to be leading with our heads more than our hearts this month. And, you know, it may be for a very good reason, you guys. However, we should work towards finding balance between the two, between our head and our heart. But, you know, there are times when we have to listen to one more than the other. You know, it happens, you guys. All right, the month of March, uh, we have the Ace of Wands coming in. And we start out the month of March in Pisces and we transition over to Aries. So, um, you know, we all know that Aces are all about new beginnings and opportunities. And this is the purest and most potent form of the element of fire which represents the power of action. And you know, the second half of March, we are in the fire sign of Aries. So, you know, check in with your own inner fire to see how it's doing. And if, you know, you're being called to action, you may have to act swiftly. So you'll need to be ready here, you guys. Ready, willing, and able is what I'm hearing here. All right. The month of April, we have the King of Wands coming in here. So April, we start out in the sign of Aries, which is a fire sign. And then we trans... 
oh, then we transition over to Taurus if I can even get it out today you guys so you know this king brings with him the energies of Aries as well as Leo and Sagittarius so you know we start off this month of April in the sign of Aries a fire sign so you know plan for the future even though you may be called into action now you know be determined as you go about reaching your goals and take charge of your destiny you guys you know we do not want to leave it in the hands of anyone else we are meant to be steering the wheel of our own lives here you guys and not giving our power away all right you guys Looking at May, we have temperance coming in here. So we start off the month of May in the sign of Taurus and we transition over into Gemini. But this is bringing in some uh, energy from Sagittarius for this month, you know, bringing in a little fire here. And, you know, this is a month when we really seem to be striving for balance. You know, we talked about it up here in all things. And, you know, at times it may seem like it's darn near impossible for us to obtain, but we could, but we should keep striving anyways, you guys, you know, to find balance in our lives you know it brings harmony and peace into our lives you guys we are we're balanced <laughs> all right moving on to june we have the eight of cups coming in here and you know june we started off in the sign of gemini and we transition over into cancer and you know this is bringing in some water element here in the second half of june is in the water sign of cancer so you know just because we may have all that we want at times it doesn't mean that we have everything that we truly need either you know sometimes we have to just walk in another direction to get where we're meant to be you guys you know we have to be willing to okay well you know yeah, I've acquired all of these things, but it's not the end goal. It's not the bigger picture. And now I need to go this other direction. All right, July. We have the three of wands. Okay, so, you know, July we started off in the sign of cancer and we transition over to Leo and you know wands is bringing in the element of fire so the second half of July is in the fiery sign of Leo and uh, this is telling us you know that we need to keep focused because we are so close to that finish line you guys you know those ships that we have been waiting on they're about to come in and all of our hard work is about to pay off. And, you know, it's not the time to take our eyes off the prize or the bigger picture just yet, you guys. You know, we still have to keep on keeping on, if you will. All right, August, my birth month, you guys. We have the world showing up here. So, you know, we start out the month of August in the sign of Leo. I am a Leo and then we transition over to Virgo. So the world is literally our oyster or our hot fudge sundae. I would prefer the hot fudge sundae. <laughs> so, you know, this is a month of success and celebration here, you guys. You know, a part of our journey has come to completion. And, you know, we've learned a lot, you guys. And now we celebrate and then we rest a little before we set out on the next phase of our journey, you know. So... When one thing ends, another is ready to begin. All right, September, we have the Five of Swords coming in. Okay, so in September, we start out with the sign of Virgo and we transition into the sign of Libra. So, you know, this is the element of air coming in here, you guys. And the second half of September is in the air sign of Libra. And, you know, this is a reminder that, you know, we need to be careful what we wish for. You know, we need to be mindful because once we get it, we may no longer want it. You know, we may have thought, oh, this will make me so happy. And, you know, 
Sometimes sharing is better than winning, especially if winning costs us our happiness, you guys. So, you know, we have to take that into consideration. All right, you guys, up next, we have the month of October and we have the Nine of Swords. So we start out the month of October in the sign of Libra and then we transition over to Scorpio. And again, you guys, we're seeing some air element coming in here. And, you know, the first half of the month is in the air sign of Libra. You know, we ended September in Libra and we start October. And, you know, this may be a time where we are more, you know, dramatic, like, woe is me, you know, having that pity party, you guys. But, you know, we must remember that it's always darkest right before the dawn. You know, the sun is already trying to shine on us. It can't rain forever, you guys. And you know what? It's okay to be sad. It's okay, you know. Um... You know, we, we have to honor our feelings as they come up to us. But, you know, we also have to learn not to not to be over dramatic and make more of it than than what it actually is. And mm, your girl, I can do that all day long. All right, you guys, for the month of November, we have judgment showing up here. So, you know, we start out the month of November in Scorpio, and then we transition over into Sagittarius. So, you know, we may be thinking, here we go again this month, you know, like, oh boy, buckle up, buttercup. You know, where has your current path led you, and where will it lead you from here? You know, we're being reminded to listen to our own inner wisdom so that we can be sure that we are following the beat of our own drum and not someone else's, you guys. You know, we don't want to be a dancing puppet, you know, for anyone else. And that is what I'm hearing loud and clear. We are not meant to be anyone else's puppet right there. All right, for December... We have the Four of Swords. Wow, lots of air in here, you guys. And, you know, we start off the month of December in Sagittarius, and then we transition over into Capricorn. And, you know, again, some air element coming in here. And, you know, we may need time to rest, you guys, but also we need to make sure that we aren't just retreating totally either. You know, we all need time to rest and refresh ourselves. You know so that our batteries can fully charge but we have to be honest with ourselves too you know am i running away <laughs> well you know from my problems because i don't want to deal with them you know sometimes and i mean hey that can be exhausting too and we, and we will need to rest you know like i said for 2020 that really hit me hard at the end there you guys and I had to rest and retreat I will be completely honest about that all right the year outcome we have the ace of pentacles so you know again aces are all about new beginnings and opportunities and this is the purest and most potent form of the element of earth you guys which represents the power of our physical bodies and, you know, we have to fully realize that there is indeed unlimited potential for our unlimited successes, you guys. You know, the only limits are the ones that we place on things. We place on ourselves or we place on other people, you know. And this is a year of working on being grounded and centered to find true balance in all areas of our lives. And, you know, I, I keep hearing it's the age of Aquarius, you guys. And... We had a lot of the air element showing up during this reading. So, you know, we may find that we're thinking a little more outside of the box and, you know, probably are more in our heads at times, really thinking on things. And, you know, a time of creative energy is also what I'm hearing here as well. You know, new creative outlets may open up for us, you guys, you know, remember that the sky isn't the limit unless you make it the limit is also what I'm hearing here. So don't shortchange yourself, you guys, and or sell yourself short in any way, you know, um, 
2020 was a rough year, you guys, but it also had some beauty to it as well. And I mean, I know some people are like, ah, but you know, it was a year, you know, it was really hard. It was really rough, you know, a lot of unexpected, you know, a lot of, I've never been here before, but you know, it, it taught me to scale back you guys and to not put so much pressure on myself that I burn myself out, you know, to listen to my body when I need to rest to go ahead and do it, you know, because then I'm not down longer than I would have been otherwise. So, you know, I needed that lesson, you guys. So, <sighs> anyway, I hope that we all are having a great start to this new year and that it continues all year long. Um, if you would like to leave a comment, please do so, you guys. I encourage that. I love interacting with you guys and, you know, I do take the time to read through the comments and respond and answer any questions that there may be to the best of my ability. If you're interested in getting this reading for yourself, you guys, you can email me contact me on Facebook or Instagram, you know, or even in the comments below. It is a $30 reading here. Um, it would be good, you know, to see how your 2021 is going to go or, or for your birthday to see how the year, your birthday and then the year after would go. So, um, I really enjoyed this reading, you guys. And if you enjoyed this reading and the messages, please smash the heck out of that like button, that old thumbs up button, you know, give it that old razzle dazzle pizzazzle, not like the can of twisted tea. <laughs> um, and, you know, please share and please subscribe, you guys, because that does help me grow. That does help me get out there. You guys, you are so amazing and you are so wonderful. And I truly love and appreciate each and every single one of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Blessed be. Namaste. And goodbye.